I am back yet again after a long hibernation of sorts. I fixed some personal issues, settled what should have been done before, and still in the process of accepting and facing some other health circumstances that is part of life. And then I completely pushed aside into the back burner and totally freed myself of thoughts about this channel. I had a good rest, I traveled, visited my siblings, and did what I have to do. Coming full circle, I am back. One good surprise on this return, my channel is now monetized. Thank you YouTube, but it doesn't make any difference though since I haven't uploaded any video, hence the earnings from ads is an astonishing, hold your breath, cents. Yeah! Okay, the purpose of this video is to deliver a shout out. I will be sharing here the reasons why I fly PAL always but based on my experience on previous flights. Welcome to Sibanga 360 in motion. I am back from a very long vacation which include two long haul flights, plenty of short road trips and exciting and breathtaking boat rides by the San Miguel Bay. But the most I hold dear are the short quality time I spent with my siblings. I feel like this shortest feature update is an icebreaker after my long absence. So I will just jump into it. I will share my thoughts on my preference with Philippine Airlines with flying in and out of the country. It is the first airline that comes into mind when I plan traveling even on domestic trips. I love direct flights. Avoiding the hassle one may encounter brought by or keeping up with flight transfer. Like when I went to fly from Manila to Los Angeles, the flight was direct. Where on my itinerary it says the flight duration will last for so 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 hours. The actual time spent on flight usually was shorter. Again, my reference was my just concluded trip. This last flight I had was delayed on takeoff or departure, yet the plane landed still on time. It took off delay by about 30 minutes, yet the plane arrived earlier over the time stated on the ticket. So now I wonder, do airlines add longer estimated flight time to compensate for delays just in case? But hey, way to go, pal! And kudos to the pilot and crew always. I feel at home flying with a Philippine flag carrier, which is by the way, Asia's first airline. PAL is celebrating its 75th year flying. The flight attendants are always helpful, courteous, and most important of all, they speak my language. It gives me the comfort and ambience of home. Really, like I feel so at home while flying even as the flight is beyond 12 hours non-stop flight. On this my recent flight, I got two full meals, first after an hour after takeoff and another about an hour before it lands, something like that. Then there was the light snack served, but of course I can seek the attention of a flight attendant for a cup of noodles or something in between. Isn't that cool? And mind you, I like the in-flight food served coupled with choice drinks, coffee and tea and then some. Sometimes. The adrenaline rush of travel prep makes us forget to buy certain gifts, but no worry, PAL has got the in-flight boutique and duty-free items on board. The airline has the best and experienced pilots. I always take note of the landings on my flights. No jolts, always smooth landing. On board, I just used my tablet to read books, and I did some online tasks too. PAL has Wi-Fi already. I appreciate the presence of updated entertainment system available. I observed how my fellow travelers enjoyed listening to the music and watching movies. I just thought that some passengers may have not closed their eyes to grab some sleep at all like my seatmates. The small LCD screens will always play movies. I recall on one of my travels I was able to be on the Mabuhay or business class too. Boy, it is like being on a hokun, paraphrasing Queen Latifah. Just to clarify here, this is not a sponsored post or endorsement by and for the airline. I'm doing this to say thank you and I do really enjoy flying Philippine Airlines. I always do. By the way, I'm flying again very soon. To date, I have flown 20 round trips on PAL international flights and many more on domestic flights. Sad to say, I don't have good footage to share here, which could have complemented this post. I slipped my GoPro and video cam on my bag overhead. 
but I do promise on my next trip I will document it, as in get good enough and good footage to share. That's a promise. If you like my videos, appreciate if you hit the subscribe button and notification bell as support. I will see you on my next video then. Thanks for watching.